You know, I'm supposed to be relaxing today because it's Sunday, but I found a map of alleged of you know what in schools in New York City and we're gonna look through Manhattan at about 16 different locations to see what's going on if there is any Wi-Fi infrastructure antennas certain things being set up that could possibly cause radiation poisoning which for some reason has identical symptoms to you know what ironically we have a spectrum truck at our first location and the big companies that are installing this infrastructure are Spectrum, Verizon, and T-Mobile. I think there's another one too. So this is Washington Heights Academy M366. Looks like there's a middle school in there. If we test the Wi-Fi levels, they're probably just gonna be insanely high, extreme. Usually levels in New York City tend to be very, very high, but I guess we'll compare it to the other places we're at. If you look on that building over there, there's some antennas. If you look over there, uh, there's a little antenna over there too. I don't see anything directly across from the building, uh, but there might also be some antennas on the other side of the street, so we'll... Oh wow, I didn't see those antennas. They have antennas pointed directly at the school. Look at that. So that's the school building. Those are antennas. It looks like they're pointing them a little that way too with those buildings and if we look behind the school building there's even some antennas on that rooftop there so they're pointing the antennas at the kids playground over here too that's insane so in front of the school the levels were extreme and then over here in front of the playground the levels are even higher so first location is uh, not good confirmed what we thought let's see if we can repeat this several more times this is our list of 16 addresses throughout the entire Manhattan. Most of them are in Upper Manhattan. One major consideration here is that these are not just public schools in New York City in general. These are the schools that were on that map I saw. So, you know, who knows how many we could see that actually have these towers pointed at them. I mean, the amount of you know, antennas and stuff on these buildings is insane. They're literally cooking people. I would not want to be in those buildings that those antennas are pointed at. So this is 349 Caprini Boulevard, PS 187, another school building. And I was driving around this block and I didn't actually think there was gonna be a tower, but as soon as I turned on here, they have the phase array antennas pointed directly at the school building. I didn't, I didn't see anything on the other side when I was driving over here, but it doesn't really matter because we see that. And again, you know, the radiation levels in New York are inherently high extreme, but they're usually not flashing extreme and they're usually not this high in this part of Manhattan. So those, those antennas over there are definitely direct radiation at the school. So we're two for two so far, which I'm not happy about. Another playground over here. I mean, there's one tiny antenna up there that's pointed at the school. So not good. There's another view of those antennas pointed at the school over here. If they know exactly what everyone is doing, what everyone is saying, what everyone is thinking, and they can make you sick at any point in time to spread the fear, there's, there's no hope for the sheeple. It's an invisible weapon. They'll never be able to figure it out. So this is PS48 on 4360 78 Broadway. I see some antennas over there pointed at the building. There's some a little further down there, but I don't see anything super obvious here. So let's go drive around the block and take a look. So I don't see any obvious antennas anywhere. There was a giant like satellite antenna on top of the school building, but it doesn't seem like there's any of the new ones right across the street pointed at the school. Well, except for those ones on the corner, which aren't as obvious, but they're still there. You guys can see the giant antenna on the school building right there. Um, it's kind of hard to see if there's any antennas in those trees or anything, who knows. So this is PS 132, 185 Wadsworth Avenue. And right across is a five, ooh, antenna. And extreme flashing levels, which is not good. I don't know what those devices on the school are doing. Those could be emitting radiation themselves. Those black squares coming off the building, they could be. And, and we showed in a previous video that the just the street lamps can emit it. Scary, scary, scary. Look, even there you have some more antennas 
but even those even though those are a bit further down that street they're pointed like in this direction at the school you know this area of manhattan isn't great it's a poor neighborhood they're targeting the poor lower intelligence uh communities that won't be able to figure this stuff out oh look i almost missed those so not only do you have the first ones we mentioned and the second one we mentioned down there you have some more antennas right on that building all by ps 132 so this is ps 210 on west 152nd street there's an antenna on the post over here i see an antenna on that building down there pointed in this direction towards the end of the school it's very very hard to see it's on the red building again who knows what's inside these buildings how much is set up inside you know, one of the main things to understand here is you don't have to have, you know, a tower outside the building pointed at it to, to radiate people. You can have these very tiny devices inside the building. Even just a powerful router is enough to make someone very, very sick if it's next to them. And a lot of these uh, school buildings probably do have routers. Oh, we found them. Uh, so the antennas are on that building pointed at school over here. Look how nice of them to spray stuff in the sky too. Yeah, you know, you're wondering how are people still alive? They're not. They're walking like that. This is 1750 Amsterdam Avenue, PS 153. And right across from the school, they have the antennas that are pointed directly at the school. And on the other buildings over there, over there, there's no antennas. They only set the antennas up across from the school and pointed it at it. At least what I can see in the near by three block vicinity. And of course they have the, the poles, this type of stuff. Hey, hey, what's up there, young fella? What's up, man? How are you? What's scary about this to me is the power of these antennas, you know, can go a mile or two. And they have them right next to the school. Like these are not like low power devices that need to be super, super close to work. Now, I, I've tested out in Pennsylvania and New York when I'm visiting these farms. If you can see a tower, even if it's like two or three miles away, the signals are still very, very strong. Definitely pierce through brick. Definitely pierce through whatever building that is. You need metal to protect it. Hopefully these guys don't get too busy, but it's not looking good. We're on 6 Edgecombe Avenue, Public School 136. And if the smell down here doesn't kill you, those antennas surely will. There might be some on the other side of this building. I can turn around to look. I think that's actually been the best school yet because there's only one antenna pointed near it. This is supposed to be POS 208, which is about halfway down this block on the left. But with these trees and how narrow the street is, I can't really see the tops of the buildings. It's very difficult. What I can see is that you know, there's plenty of antennas over here pointed down the street, which doesn't really help us. So this is 112th Street, which is north above the charter school the charter school i believe is over here but there's some more antennas on the end of the street but again not pointed at the school just the sheer amount of the antennas on the other side of the street is probably enough to get people sick in this area but we'll take another quick look at the school and look up to see if we could see anything this is flashing up to extreme so if there is some type of device over here that's emitting radiation maybe a tower we're not seeing an antenna we're not seeing I don't know. Oh, would you look at that? There they are. On the top of that really tall building. Man, that one was tough to find. But yeah, that's pointed directly at the school. Some of these are scary obvious. Some of these are uh, pretty cleverly hidden. So we've kind of left Harlem and Washington Heights, so I'd be pretty surprised that they're doing this in these upscale neighborhoods, but we'll see. So we're on East 103rd Street, which is almost Upper East Side, kinda. So this is the public school building right here. They're actually building another one across the street, but the antennas are right through there. You guys can see them pretty easily. They're right there. The antennas are right there, pointed at the school. So there's actually a playground. That's insane. They're gonna have a... Uh, they're building a new school here and they're gonna have a playground here and the other schools over here i actually made a mistake on that last one the building i said where they were building the school is actually the school so the antennas are even closer than i thought literally pointing directly at the schoolyard and where the kids are going to be public school 84 is on this street and 
Now that we're in Manhattan with these super tall buildings, it's incredibly difficult to tell if there are some type of antennas pointed at the school. I don't see anything over there. I don't think there's stuff on these buildings. What we want to see is the other side of the street. It's just so difficult to tell, you know. You could go to antennasearch.com and look up the school and probably see it you know a dozen antennas on these rooftops but i can't see any from down here senator robert f wagner middle school i think this is 76th street again these buildings are very difficult to see with how narrow these streets are very difficult to see anything so it's very likely there's a tall building like this somewhere in the near vicinity where they're able to put a tower on it and target the school from pretty far away one thing we've spoken about in the past and one thing I'm going to do another video on is how all main roadways have towers pointed at them. You know, right now there's one right here. So if you're driving in a car, you're getting fried. Just like your kids are getting fried in these schools. This is Midtown East Campus on East 56th Street. Man, look at that symbolism. High School of Art and Design. The antennas are right here. This is the most blatantly obvious one. Imagine if you were in like that room right there. That's crazy. That's absolutely crazy. Extreme flashing levels. I feel bad for these kids, man. I feel bad for these kids. What kind of whack a world are we living in? That's a Verizon building right across. But, but the towers aren't even on the Verizon building. They're on the apartments next to it. And then you have more antennas on the corner over here on that red building. That's why the levels are so high over here. Guys, I wasn't going to even come down here today because I didn't think this was a good idea. I thought they would have just installed some type of routers and infrastructure in the school buildings, but I guess it costs less money to set up an antenna on a roof than it costs someone to run wiring and set all that stuff in the interior of a building because then they got to go through walls, ceilings, all that stuff. It's a Sunday at 2 p.m. and I've seen at least a dozen Spectrum vans working. Why are these telecom companies working overtime on weekends? What are they setting up that's so important? Smart city infrastructure. I'm getting cooked, boys. You guys better like this video. So the school is right on this block in the middle over there. And there's already these antennas here. Let's take a drive around the block and see if we see any other ones. So this is High School of Graphic Design. I don't see any towers on these buildings, but again, since the street's so narrow, we can't really see. So we're going to go down the street on the other side and see if there's anything we can see pointed at the school. So we're going to go down 50th Street to see if there's anything pointed at the school that's on 49th Street. There's antennas on this building that could be pointed at the school over there. Even those antennas on this beige building here, those could be pointed at the school. Since we can't really see some of these antennas on these schools and we don't really know, I'm going to start putting up the antenna search results uh, for this. So there's going to be a tower search result as well as an antenna search result. That'll be directly on top of the specific address with a very close vicinity, maybe you know, half a block radius. They're begging for it. They want it. They want to get cooked. This is getting ridiculous. This is why I didn't want to come down here. The school is in the middle of this block on the left, and there's no way in hell you can reasonably see the tops of any of these buildings. And there's trees too. So this is basically as close as I can get. So we'll throw up the antenna search here. There's actually an antenna on this this LED lamp. That's why the Wi-Fi levels are extreme down here. Partially. It's actually all closed off. Because they closed it down because of the the one person who had a problem. Yeah, see? High school of fashion industries. We only have two more spots to see, so we might as well finish up the day, but. Uh, it is kind of lame that these last few are very, very difficult to tell. 
And again, I think we said it earlier, New York is already such a high Wi-Fi radiation environment that, you know, how much does this matter? You know, people would probably be getting sick anyway every year. Now with these new towers, though, people are getting very, very sick. The living nightmare. Look at all the Verizon Fios trucks we have on the street. There's like 10 of them. So this next school is Liberty High School on 250 West 18th, which is on the opposite corner of where we are right now. So on, on the right side of the street here, but on the opposite side. So the towers on that building might be actually pointed at the school. That's it, Liberty High School. I think we'll bring up the antenna search again for this one because Streets too narrow, buildings too tall. Uh, but we'll do one last school to see if there's anything very obvious. The one thing all of these locations have in common is they have an unusually high radiation level, the majority being caused by antennas directly. So whether it's the school being directly targeted, which we've seen in some cases, or some possible unintentional targeting, well, all of it's intentional, but... So whether there's an antenna pointed directly at the school or just something nearby, it appears that all of these locations have that higher radiation level in common. Towards the end of this next block is going to be JHS 60 on 420 East 12th Street. So the school's right here. I don't see antennas on that building. I don't see antennas on these buildings either. So I'm going to pull up the antenna search for this location as well. Uh, but that's going to be it for today, guys. That map I linked earlier of all of these locations, you can line it up to each of these spots. I saw today an approximate like descending street in the city. So the first few schools we went to were in Washington Heights. Then we went a little bit further down to Harlem. Then we went to like Upper East Area, then to Midtown. Uh, so. Hopefully this gets the word out there and helps some people. I mean, New York City, even before this, was already a nightmare, but <laughs> now with these uh, with these things set up, they can basically choose where they have and where not. You know, I've seen quite a few bars here and there that are literally in, in the direction of a, a tower. I wonder if the reason they have street dining in New York is so they can fry people while they're outside eating. Like the people that choose to be outside eating, they just blast them with radiation. See you guys for tomorrow's video.